and welcome to another episode of A Day in the District. I am your host, Chelsea Whittington, and on this show, we talk all things about the Gary Community School Corporation. Today, my very special guest is a personal friend and colleague and major supporter of the district, Dr. Vanessa Allen McLeod. She is the president and CEO of the Urban League of Northwest Indiana, here to share some amazing news about scholarships and such for our young people. Welcome, doctor. Thank you so much, Chelsea. I'm so glad to be here and so glad to lend my support to the Geary Community School Corporation. As you always yes. do. Yes. I knew that I was going to have you on my roster, my lineup <laughs> of guests, because as we both know, as sisters in the movement yes. for the Urban League, that scholarships are critically important yes. in our community when it comes to ensuring that our young people make exactly. it to college, stay in college, and yes. have the funding and support that they need. Right. But before we jump okay. into that <laughs> big, big nugget of information, yes. your connection to the district streams back decades. Way, way back. back. <laughs> so tell us how your connection way with the district back. as a product of the school system Absolutely. and then also as an employee. Absolutely. Um, I graduated uh, from Horseman High School All in right. 1977. I just need to throw that shout out there. Go Horseman. Go Horseman. However, I was hired uh, with the district uh, back in the 19 something. I don't even want to say it. <laughs> in the 1900s. <laughs> okay. I don't know why I was there. I was, I was there too. Exactly. So. <laughs> and I was hired as the Gear Up Director. Mm -hmm. And Gear Up was a federally funded program that stands for Gaining Early Awareness and Readiness for Undergraduate Programs. Mm -hmm. We targeted the seventh graders. At that time, there were about six middle schools in the district. Remember, can you yes. name them? Can you um, call Bailey, out a few? Bailey, Beckman, Tyler, Pulaski, Edison, Pulaski. There you go. Oh, yeah, I'm a Gary That's Schools right. girl. That's right. We had all of those schools, and it was my job to target those seventh graders and work with those parents and help them matriculate to, through their uh, grade, mm -hmm. graduate, and go off to college. Okay. So I did that, and it was a successful program, and I just need to give a shout out to those persons who wrote that grant because yes. it was a grant. Uh, once that grant ended, I was invited to apply for a position in the administration office. So I served as the director of uh, su the supervisor of community engagement, or whatever the title was at the time. At yes, the time, I, I was I was there. So I was in the office with Dr. Mary Still Ag, Dr. Myrtle Campbell, Mr. George Comer. That was my direct uh, those supervisor. Academic great. Yes, those were some great people. Mm -hmm. And the the way actually that I came into the district was because of Nellie Moore. Hmm. That's another great name. Yes, both on the counseling side yes. and on the school board side. Yes, and San Bianco. We were over at Lock School at the time. Mm -hmm. Now it's the Girls um, Academy. It's uh, actually Boys and Girls Boys over and there. Girls Academy, yes. but it was actually Nellie Moore who championed for me and, and supported me in coming into the McCullough. district. McCullough. They're going to be like, girl, say McCullough. Right. Thank <laughs> Woods McCullough Academy. Academy. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So I transitioned into the district as gear up. Then I transitioned into the administration office. We were located over on 10th and uh, Virginia. Virginia. Mm -hmm. And I stayed there for a, a long while. And then finally, there was another transition that went on. Like transitions happen in the district. They they on happen occasion. on occasion, <laughs> and God just enlarged my territory. So he moved me from the Gary Community School Corporation to the Urban League. I think some of you know that Eloise Gentry oh, was yes. the president and CEO. She served for 30-plus years. She was a, a very good supporter of the school district. And uh, she passed. She transitioned from this life into eternity, and her position was open. So mm -hmm. I had several people encouraging me you know, like strong arming me right. to apply. And I'm so glad they for did. the position. I yeah. mean, people like Sharon Chambers, Denise Dillard, um, Sergeant Lewis Stewart. You know, people were calling me on the phone. Mm -hmm. So I applied for the position, and I was hired January 15th of 2010. Which means that you are now in your 11th My year. My 11th year. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. know, you. Vanessa, <laughs> Dr. Alan McLeod, <laughs> as you were talking about the Gear Up program, it stirred up memories because I've often shared that things come full circle yes. as I worked in, as the director of public relations when you were there mm -hmm. 20 years ago. Yes. 
uh, here in the it. district. Yeah, I'm saying it. 20 <laughs> years ago, because we have to talk about how our impact on the community and young people is vested. It's That's long right. term, no? And I remember going on college tours with your group and how critical that is mm -hmm. for the children to get exposed mm -hmm. to campus life, what yes. college will potentially be like, yes. and then where your part comes in about getting the money Absolutely. to go to college. So it's a perfect segue yes. from the district yes. to the Urban League. And so we have a minute and a half for this first segment that okay. I want you to get started on talking about your tenure over at the league, and then we'll continue with more after the break. The board of directors um, had to vote. They appointed me uh, as president and CEO. People like uh, Quentin P. Smith was on the wow. board at the time. Um, and there were so many others. Uh, uh, former Mayor Richard Gordon Hatcher. You know, th those... Didn't that make you nervous? Of course it did. <laughs> <laughs> of course it made me nervous. But I'm thankful for that board. Reverend Carol Cargo. Wow. You know, I'm just thankful for those uh, trailblazers that invited me, trusted me, brought me in uh, at that time. And like I said, that was January 15th, which is actually Dr. Martin Luther King's actual birthday, actual birthday. that I was hired on. And so I'm just excited that I'm still there. I still have the same fire, the still the, the same passion to do what I do. So God just enlarged my territory. Yes, he did. I would even beg to differ to say you have even more passion, more fire, because under your leadership, so many programs have grown, so many have expand, so many expanded, yes. so many people in our community including myself, have received opportunities yes. to work with you at the League. Yes. And we are getting ready to go to break. <laughs> we are talking to Vanessa Allen McLeod, the president and CEO of the Urban League of Northwest Indiana. When we come back, we'll talk about scholarships. Stay right there. Don't tell anybody, but I'm a bookworm. I'm one of those very ambitious, highly motivated, overachievers you've heard about. When I enrolled in Gary Community Schools, I thought I'd be all alone. Sort of like an anomaly or a unicorn. Turns out, that wasn't true at all. There's lots of us here. Gary Schools. Strong. Resilient. Built for education. Welcome back to A Day in the District. I am your host, Chelsea Whittington, part of the team here at the Gary Community School Corporation. And it's always my honor to talk all things Gary Schools. <laughs> Why? Because we have so many amazing happenings that are taking place. I can hardly keep up. But here, talking about her partnership with the Gary Community School Corporation is none other than our CEO and president of the Urban League of Northwest Indiana, <laughs> Dr. Vanessa Allen McLeod. I love saying that. It just rolls off the tongue. Ooh. Dr. <laughs> Vanessa Allen McLeod. So we were saying we were going to talk about scholarships. I am a product of a scholarship. I received a full ride to Howard University. Yes. And you can't imagine the relief mm -hmm. my parents felt as far as already having other siblings in college Absolutely. when I said, Mama, Daddy, I got this. I'm going free so long as I keep that 3.5. <laughs> right. You don't have to pay. And right. so talk to me about the many opportunities that exist with the Urban League. And there's so many when it comes to scholarships. There are. We, we have about almost 20 scholarship opportunities that students can apply from. Uh, we have the Guthrie Family Scholarship, for instance. That's specific to Westside Leadership Academy students. Guthrie, Carlton Guthrie is the president, CEO of the GAPS program. Mm -hmm. I think you might be familiar oh, very with that. Familiar. And his family has already sent us over $7,000 for scholarships That's for students amazing. here, not any other school. But specifically we're specific for Westside, specific because for I believe he and many of his family members are Westside exactly. alone. Exactly, okay. and they keep sending us checks. Hey, and we're not 
But guess gonna what? Stop receiving them, right? We're, no, I'm <laughs> going to keep receiving them. But what I need is the parents and the students to apply for those scholarships. Can you just look in your camera I and need tell them? The parents and the student parents. Let me just take you back. When take my children back. were uh, in school and I was trying to get them out of my house, I know I'm on TV, <laughs> but when I was trying to get them grown and gone, they had a scholarship to apply for. They couldn't eat, sleep, or drink until, until they that finished that application. Thank you. What the world? I don't know what goes on now, but I need your help, parents. Please take the cell phone, disconnect all the electronics. Except and, the computer where they need right, to Right, exactly. Right. <laughs> because they need to upload their transcript. They need two letters of recommendation. They need to write an essay, which is only two pages, double space, about why do I want the Chelsea Whittington scholarship. And, and that's I'm just, coming. I'm just throwing Throwing that out there, did that you see coming. how I just ease that in? Yes, but Very you know, slick. here's and here is um, Nipsco supports the uh, Carolyn, the late Carolyn Mosby, Senator oh. Carolyn Mosby scholarship. Loved her. There's about five thousand dollars there, and it's so many more legacy found. It's so many more, mm -hmm. not just for West Side students, but for all, all throughout students the region. Throughout the region, but I want to emphasize the ones for West Side students. Right, because we're here talking about we're the Gary here Community, talking about School, the Gary Corporation. Community School Corporation. And yes, you are absolutely right. I did indicate to you that I was going to establish a scholarship yes. in my company's name, and I encourage those who are watching to That's do right. the same. So let's talk quickly about how they access these scholarships. Now that you have them on the hook, they're like, so where do I go? Where do I go? Where, what, where, do I what do I do? do, I do? What, well, the first thing, let me just give you a phone number, All 219 right. 887-9621. Why do I have that like tattooed on my wrist? Yes, 219 yes. If all else fails, call the office. Okay. But you can access by going to our website, which is www.ulof.com. NWI.org, mm -hmm. which stands for Urban League of oh, Northwest yes, Indiana. Indiana. Go to the website, click on the education tab, and you will see all of the There's scholarships. There's so many. The Corvette Club, they're offering like $1,000 to two students. I mean, just money. Yes, yes. And the thing I love <laughs> about it is when when the scholarship winners are announced. Oh, yeah. I know last year we weren't able to do it in such grand fashion with the luncheon that you normally have. Right. But you were still able to do a virtual celebration Absolutely. with the red carpet, the balloons, and the grantees and the it. recipients in yes. attendance yes. and their parents in tears. Amazing yes. moments to be made if only our children would apply. Exactly. And I can recall, and I'm sure you can, when in high school, my counselors stalked me. Hi, Miss Smith, St Earl Smith's wife. They would they hang would out outside our class name on, on the, the intercom. Uh, on the intercom. Yes, they would and say, "Come to the report to the office and don't leave out of the counselor's right. office exactly. until you finish this application." Exactly. Well, we're bringing those days back. We have some amazing counselors right here at Westside we Leadership Academy, we do. and I want to thank you for constantly forwarding the information, yes. sending reminders, and we also have the advent of social media and That's our true. website. Side That's to true. drive it home. So, you yes. know what I'm going to do? West Side is uh, has advanced in sports for the regional yes. basketball, and then I don't know by the time this airs, oh. hopefully we'll be on our way down state or something. Yes, but we will make sure that we, we connect with the children at the games. There are exactly. all different types of ways that we can reach out to them to remind them that applying for these scholarships are essential, and some of exactly. them. There's nothing more than, like you said, the application transcript and essay. And one other scholarship. We even have a scholarship for a student with special needs. Okay. First Midwest Bank offers $1,000 for a student who can prove that they have an IEP mm -hmm. at the time of graduation. There's a scholarship out there. I only have like two people two students who've applied for that. Not it's after this airs, my dear. <laughs> if anything, we're going to make sure yes. that your office is flooded with phone calls. We crash your website. Yes. We have children camped outside of your door yes. because the partnership between the Gary Community School Corporation and the Urban League is so strong and we're so <laughs> excited. As we wrap up this segment, yes. there are many other things that the Urban League movement provides to our community. Absolutely. And I can't wait to talk to you about things like 
tax preparation yes. and energy assistance and the partnership that you've developed with NIPSCO that helps young people yes. uh, get introduced to careers and energy so much. Oh, so much. And I'm so proud that we have this yes. partnership and it exists in many communities. Mm -hmm. If you're just tuning in, where have you been? I'm here with Dr. Vanessa Allen McLeod, President and CEO of the Urban League of Northwest Indiana, where we're talking all things partnerships, yes. scholarships, and the connection of the Gary Schools. We'll be right back. It's gross. I don't really want to talk about it. She didn't want to at first, but I mean, it's no big deal. Everybody does it. I was ready, totally ready, because we have been practicing this dance for weeks. He was supposed to take this girl to this dance, but <laughs> <laughs> I sprained my ankle at track practice. I hate sharing anything personal. It's so disgusting. For the dance, I let her wear my shoes and she hated it, but I thought she looked great in them. He could barely even walk. I ended up taking some pills for my pain. Yeah, they were my mom's, but it didn't go well. If it's not yours. If it's not yours. If it's not yours. Hey you. Don't take it. Don't take it. Don't take it. Don't take it. You won't believe what happened next. Hello, my name is Dr. Paige McNulty. I'm the manager for the Gary Community School Corporation. And I am pleased to be joined today with the Jackson 5 family members, Tito and Marlon Jackson. Hi, Hi nice, how are nice you? Thanks for being here, nice being to here see today. You again. Not only are we members of the world famous Jackson 5, but we are proud products of the Gary Schools. Growing up in Gary, our school system afforded great opportunities from academics to extracurricular activities. And today is no different. This is why we encourage you to enroll your child in the Gary Schools today. For more information, please call 219-881-5466 or visit GarySchools.org. And please remember, enroll in Gary Schools today. Yes, right. definitely right. enroll. Gary Schools, strong, resilient. Built for education. Welcome back to A Day in the District. I'm your host, Chelsea Whittington, and I am here with my special guest and my really good friend, Dr. Vanessa Allen McLeod, President and CEO of the Urban League of Northwest Indiana. So we talked about the big thing, yes. but the, all the things you do are, are oh, big wow. at the Urban League, <laughs> um, about the scholarships that are afforded yes. to our young people. And we will repeat that information in case you missed it. But now, yes. I want to talk about the community component, because when we talk about full circle and wrapping right. our arms around our young people and the families in this community, I automatically think of the Urban League. So tell me some more about some of the programs that are afforded to families that help them live a better quality of life. Well, let me say this, uh, Chelsea. It's all about relationships mm -hmm. and collaborations. We can't do anything alone on a silo by ourselves. So, for instance, we have a, um, a NIPSCO is one of our great supporters. They offer a scholarship, not to go back to the scholarships right now, but they offer energy assistance, they offer other opportunities for people to uh, improve their quality of life. Mm -hmm. But they also support us with grant funding for a program called NIPSCO Energy Ambassadors. Nice. Mike Suds is helping us coordinate that. The other program is called Empower, which uh, Eddie Melton was the brainchild for that. And both of those programs target ninth and 10th graders. The other program targets 11th and 12th graders. We'll be sending that information out soon. I'll be watching for it. <laughs> you know me. I mean, I understand. And to be clear, the Urban League of Northwest Indiana covers Lake, LaPorte, and Porter counties. Yes. I am biased. <laughs> we are in Lake County. We are at Westside Leadership Academy. Right. So if it's focusing on our kids, I'm going to focus on and our we kids. Do. We have some <laughs> Bailey students in the eighth grade component. Okay. So the high school component will be rolling out pretty soon. All and right. we'll get them started. All right. The other programs that we have is VITA, which stands for Volunteer Income Tax Assistance. If you make less than $57,000 a year, you can call our office and we will process your taxes free. Absolutely free. Absolutely 
absolutely free. Don't go to Uncle Sam, Quickie Sam, or whoever and let them take your money. <laughs> right. Call the Urban League office and we will definitely do your taxes free of charge. We'll Allow me. It. Call the Urban League office at 219-887-9621. That's 219-887-9621. No, no charge for that. There are volunteer uh, people that come in. It's headed by Tracina. Uh, Tracina Jones is a member of uh, New Mount Moriah Church over where Reverend uh, Johnson. Doctor. Okay. Reverend Johnson is. Yes. And she's the coordinator of the vital program. So call her. In fact, while we were in COVID, there were people who made a. Uh, 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 a minimal amount of money. That's right. And remember, the government government couldn't figure out where to send your COVID, your stimulus. The stimulus relief. Relief okay. for. Okay. So we stayed in the office. We masked up and we worked with people like barbers, you know, beauticians, mm -hmm. some, some other people, people who maybe do some lawn care or house. Self-employed. Something like self-employed. We worked with those people to make sure that they receive their money. So it's a lot. That's amazing. That's a that lot. That is it amazing. Is a lot. And there's other programs too. Federation of Block Club. If you're trying to clean up your block or you want to do something to enhance your neighborhood, we received funding from Legacy Foundation. Remember I talked about those partnerships yes. and collaborations? Critical. So what we have Legacy over here. We have NIPSCO over here. We have Lake Area United Way over here. Then we have Horizon Bank out of Michigan City, but they are opening a branch on Grant Street right across from I McDonald's. I read that. Yes. So excited about yes. that. So the key word today that we've been talking about is partnerships, partnership, partnerships. And trust me, we at the Gary Community School Corporation love our partnership with the Urban League of yes. Northwest Indiana. So I'm crossing my fingers as we try to get out of COVIDville yes. that some of the activities and the programs will become in person versus virtual. What's your take on that? I hope they will. Everyone has to continue to mask up, mm -hmm. wash your hands, mm -hmm. and get your shot if you're old enough. I think we're at the, what, 50, 50 and over? They're almost getting to me. I can smell <laughs> it. It's time. I'm going to be a Well, I had my minute. second one just the other day. Very went good. to Methodist Hospital. No, I'm not at the age. Some kind of way God opened the door and I got Praise in. Him. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> my two shots. But I would like to uh, also say that because Westside Leadership Academy is doing so well in their athletic department. The Urban League has another pool of money on the side, and we're going to make a donation. I have the paperwork from Coach Robert Lee. Yes, our athletic director. I'm athletic listening. Athletic director. So we're going to we're going to start at two thousand dollars. <sighs> That is amazing because, you know, we've done a series of fundraisers for uniforms. Yes. That, and we're using our $1065, Bill 1065, yes. to do school and building improvements. But it takes the community. But it takes the it village. It takes all of us, and we're the village. So we're going to start off with a $2,000, and I'm going to encourage other people to make a donation to the Gary Community School Corporation for whatever. Mine is going towards the athletic. Yes. But, of course, send a couple of dollars to the Urban League now. That's so right. So that we can. Keep, keep doing, doing what we're doing. Exactly. And you made this major <laughs> announcement on a day in the district. I feel yes. so special. Yes. Well, we will be sure to yes. put together some type of official presentation yes. to let the community know they need to know that their Urban League, the right. Urban League of Northwest Indiana, is alive, well, and very active in our community. As we get ready to wrap up the show yes. last time, please tell everyone where to find the information about the scholarship. Call the office, 219-887-9621. Go to our website at www.ulofnwi.org and click the tab that says Education. And you will find not just our scholarships, but we have a whole a lot of other scholarships on there. So check it out. Well, Dr. Vanessa Allen McLeod, it has been my honor pleasure and privilege to have you as my special guest and if you're going to keep writing checks for the district welcome back you can come to the show anytime <laughs> and for those of you out there thank you so much for tuning in to a day in the district where we talk about the people places and things that matter to you about your school corporation i have been your host chelsea whittington thanks again and we'll see you next time
W S T G.